to that mystery in paradise. Three Americans found dead at a popular Bahamas resort. The State Department now monitoring the investigation into their deaths. And we're hearing from now from family members of the victims. Will Reeve is there with the latest. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Michael. Emerald Bay on Great Exuma is everything you dream of. Turquoise waters under sunny blue skies. But right now here, a nightmare. Three Americans dead, a fourth hospitalized, and nobody yet knows why. This morning, a deadly mystery in paradise. Three Americans found dead at Sandals Emerald Bay in the Bahamas, the exclusive beachside resort now the epicenter of an urgent investigation. Three individuals were found dead on a hotel property with one individual still alive. Authorities say they've not yet determined a cause, but have ruled out foul play. Vincent Chiarella and his wife, Donis, they're celebrating their anniversary when both fell ill Thursday. The two visiting a health clinic for nausea and vomiting. Officials say they were treated and released. Then Friday morning, just after 9 a.m., resort staff contacting the police, saying a man was found unresponsive in his villa. Vincent passing away, Donis airlifted to a hospital in Florida. The Chiarella's son, Austin, telling ABC News his mother woke up Friday morning and found Vincent lying on the floor while she discovered she couldn't move, her arms and legs swollen, screaming for help. Two other victims found in a separate villa also dying. According to police, there were no indications of trauma, but they did show signs of convulsion. We believe it's an isolated situation that revolves around four people that were impacted. The acting prime minister of the Bahamas releasing a statement saying that multiple agencies, including the U.S. Embassy, are working together. And Sandals telling ABC News, we are actively working to support both the investigation as well as the guests' families in every way possible during this difficult time. While officials say they believe there's no longer a threat, guests staying at the resort now on edge. It definitely gives me a cause for concern just because you want to know what happened. And local business owners like Thomasina Ferguson, who runs a restaurant just down the street from Sandals, anxiously await clarity. Everything is a hush-hush. Everyone is just waiting on the coroner's report. Everything has been hush-hush. It's not much talk about it. The sense of unease here is evident. Nobody wants to speculate on the cause of the tragedy. Official answers expected in the coming days as Bahamian authorities officially identify the dead, perform autopsies, and determine what happened to these American tourists. Guys. Mm, what a sad, strange yeah. story. Thank you, Will. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.